How much vitamin K2 should I take per day? There are two types of vitamin K, K1 and K2. Philoquinone is vitamin K1, which is found in green leafy vegetables, and its primary function is to promote blood clotting. Coumadin thins the blood by antagonizing the action of vitamin K. Menaquinone is vitamin K2 and there are multiple varieties, which are designated as MK4 to MK14. The most commonly discussed and supplemented variety is the short chain MK4, which is found in meat. The longer chain menaquinones are attracting more attention as supplements and include MK7, MK8, MK9, which are found in fermented foods such as cheese and curds. Most important thing to note is that the anti-inflammatory diet does not discourage the consumption of meat, cheese, or fermented foods. While vitamin K2 also influences blood clotting proteins like K1, the menaquinones K2 uniquely influence calcium metabolism in relation to bone and cardiovascular health. Recent studies suggest that vitamin K2 may be protective against cancer expression. Bone-producing cells called osteoblasts produce a substance called osteocalcin that participates in building bone density, however to do this effectively, it must be first activated by vitamin K2. Reduced levels of K2-activated osteocalcin is a marker of bone mineral density as it is correlated with hip bone mineral density and fracture risk in elderly women. Vitamin K2 is best taken together with vitamin D3 vital vitamins offer the best option which can be purchased from Amazon.com link below.